in recent years it became possible to image other protoplanetary disks and this is one stunning example. This is HL Tauri. It is um, a protoplanetary disk around a sun-like star and is about 450 light years away from our solar system. And this is an, another example. This is TW Hydra and is about 176 light years away from our solar system, also around a sun-like star. And the reason why these images are so spectacular is that they apparently show a couple of gaps. So here this looks like this is one gap and here this is another one looking like a gap. And not only this, but these gaps here are about 20 astronomical units away from the Sun and this gap here is about 40 astronomical units away from the Sun. So this is something like Saturn and Uranus or something like this. So these are very familiar distances of planets from the Sun. So what we see here is the red is dust. It is imaged with the ALMA um, spectro, well, this is a radio telescope array consisting of 66 dishes in the Atacama Desert. And it images this disk at a sub-millimeter wavelength. So what we see here is basically dust. This is the red material. And uh, when there's black, so these gaps, this is where there is a low dust density. And it is quite possible that what we see here in these openings, in these rings, that this has been produced by planets sweeping up, aggregating all the dust in these regions. So we might really look into the birth of a planetary system here. And this is what makes these, um, these images so spectacular. Although the caveat here is that there are alternative explanations for these gaps, might be some density waves or whatever, so it's not 100% sure these are planet formation regions, but it's, it is quite likely, and um, we'll see in the future how this turns out when we get more and more of these kind of images. So this here really is now an image of another protoplanetary disk where we can first really also observe what might have happened in the early solar system.